shit, the mindless ones. Greetings, agents. I am Agent Kim from the Omega Flight. Welcome to the Marvel Future Revolution live stream. We have an update for you. We have an update for you one month after the global launch, which means this is our first update stream. That's pretty exciting. Uh, there will be a reward for those of you who are watching the stream, which is you, if you are hearing me right now. And we will reveal a special code that you can input later at the end of the stream. Stick around. You're going to want it. It's going to help you out quite a bit in the game. I would also like to point you in the direction of our SNS channels. You can um, look us up on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Discord. And hopefully the channel mods are dropping the links in the chat or the description. If not now, they will be soon. So please look for those and be sure to follow. All right. Well, I mean, I don't want to dawdle too much after that very cool video that we just saw because I want to explain to you what's going on in that. And for that, I'm going to call in my friend Agent Angel to help. Hey, Kim. How's it going? Greetings, Agent. Hey. Very hey, excited, Angel. very excited. Like you said, Kim, it's our first update after one month after post live launch, and we're very excited. It's only the first update of many, many updates to come. So, thank you guys so much for joining us. It's going to be a great I like day. Agent Angel shirt. <laughs> it yeah. looks like I this mean, gym in my area is vintage show. boxing. Um, <laughs> I swear to God, just reminded me. Some characters and some looks in that video that I'm really excited to talk about more and uh, just share it with everyone. So, uh, there's a lot to do. And I do want to remind people that as we go into the game, this is not a live build, but a test environment. So what you see here may change from what you see in the final build. Thank you for that reminder, Kim. Yeah, it's very important to note that, yeah, there might be some wonkiness and there might be stuff that you'll see. Uh, just keep in mind, it's not a live uh, build. Thank I you for that, Kim. Uh, that <laughs> being said, how about we check out the new, brand new territory that's going to come up with this uh, update. It's a new region called Dark Domain. So let's check that out, Kim. Yes. So this also is, um, we're going to see a variety of changes and content being added. And this is only the beginning, of course. There are, there's plenty more content to come and updates in the future for Marvel Future Evolution. 100%. Like we said, uh, we could go into the game cam here, Director. We could Why do we keep getting that every single time? All right. And as you see right off the bat, it's very, very different, very different yeah. region from every other regions we've seen. And uh, Kim, how come, why don't we go through a little bit of the background? The All right, well, we are in the dark I thought domain, I saw Valkyrie over there. the realm that is controlled, dominated <laughs> by the just known spell. as Dormammu. So I think many of us are familiar with Dormammu. So we are Dormammu, getting Omega Pass Season 2. An extremely powerful, malevolent, cosmic being from the dark dimension, as I mentioned. He is dark. He has awful, ominous plans for primary Earth and its inhabitants. And um, this is, uh, he's ruled there for untold eons. This location is totally unknown to those of us here on Earth. And he ha has his sights set on conquering and ruling other planes of reality, other dimensions, other realms, everything. That's He just wants to take over it all. And um, he can actually be, be summoned using the book of Cagliostro. Uh, he has extra dimensional powers that are beyond human comprehension that he uses to conquer. So we have our work cut out for us. Definitely a very difficult region. If uh, you haven't got there yet, there's going to be way more uh, experience to gain from here, and we'll get into that a little bit later. We got. And I can't believe we got a whole new enemy monsters, type so in the mindless the ones. Monsters right here are mindless ones, so they're really mm -hmm. difficult enemies, and it's a fresh new look at a new enemy uh, we haven't encountered before. So we'll start taking a little side quest right now. So without spoiling too much of the content update, without doing any of the epic missions. Yeah. So the mindless ones are. Um, they're pretty much under Dormammu's control. They, they're sort of an acquisition he got from as he spread his domain throughout the various oh, that, places. It in the looks so place. sick. So uh, they the were mindless one is so awesome. Unstoppable engines of destruction, and they they follow Dormammu. So uh, yeah, they're. Very, the very eerie and, and ominous creatures. Like, man, they have like red dots for faces and stuff. It's very scary. <laughs> yeah, These look a little I bit mean, different with the four or five little, eyes, but I mean, more than a little nightmarish. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a vibe. 
<laughs> Definitely. It reminds me of a lot of the mission where you were actually inside of Vision and it was like very, very interesting. Like it was all cybernetic. It was all different and glowing. And it's really, really, yeah, it's it's evil <laughs> to say the least. Mm -hmm. So yeah. It's a lot of dark power. Just, <laughs> you could feel it, you know, coming out of that, those glows on the ground. Definitely. And as you guys know, with the new region, um, there's going to be a lot new, more XP. And we could get into about uh, the level cap increase later on. And this mm -hmm. is a brand new place you could start farming for more XP. Yeah, more you should new, just uh, lead with that black max cap increase. That's the thing that most of us are sure. wanting to know. Mm -hmm. So let me just get through this quick uh, side mission real quick. Let's go back and collect the medicinal herbs for this NPC without getting wrecked by, <laughs> by these mindless ones. <laughs> So he's looking like he's at 110 power cap, like so right there. So I'm wondering if that's the power cap. You, <laughs> like if you look up here in the screen, you can see that as 110. I wonder yeah. if we, that's what we're going to get is the 10 extra levels. So yeah, th right. this actual region is like a sub region. It's called. Twin it was hard to tell because he wasn't beating uh, anybody and you don't get experience from there. Exiled. We actually have it locked here. But uh, why don't we talk a little bit about that region as well, Kim? Well, I wanted to talk about Twisted Border a little bit, which, yeah. um, as I mentioned, it is a space infused with powerful dark magic, and the Convergence <laughs> has drawn large numbers of civilians into this region. So um, we have two NPCs here, Scarlet Witch and Nico Minoru, who are protecting them against the forces that threaten this region. But in Land of the Exiled, this is an interesting place because it is sort of on the border between the Dark Dimension and the Netherworld. Uh, the realm of Mephisto, which some of you may be familiar with, this demon, this lord of hell. It's a dangerous place uh, where the power war between the two groups being um, led by Dormammu and Mephisto happen. So it's it's kind of a very dangerous place. <laughs> And nothing about this is friendly at all and it's all very very dangerous and as you guys just saw right now i just picked up a new collectible so as you guys know uh along with new regions comes brand new collectibles brand new, i don't know why i didn't uh, even think about the collectibles collectible uh completion rewards so you know get those collectibles in uh trade them into the conversion box and uh you know for a chance to get like really cool gear later on so there's a lot mm -hmm. lot to explore here without going in too much into it uh, we didn't want to give away any spoilers, so you guys could check out the content yourself. And again, this unlocks after Sakar, which is the last region we have. And this is a brand new region, brand new area for you guys to explore and check out the new content. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I did not you even think about like that. My collectibles, but that's nightmare. good. This is the spot. <laughs> and here it is: a brief overview of some of the progress status you could check out. There's 22 new 22 missions, 34 new side missions, seven new wanted, and a brand new. Oh, this is awesome! I'm dying to see what the seven new most and along wanted with all are. That is what a lot of people have been asking for. You're gonna get brand new squad rank XP, uh, gold to collect. So go ahead and start collecting all of that. There's gonna be plenty of content for you guys to eat up and uh, check out in the dark domain region. Ah, yeah. come on, I want to get a little and, map uh, at that. I love the way this looks. I, it looks amazing. It looks like something out of, like, yeah, some fantasy, like, uh, crazy land. Yeah, I don't I don't remember reading any of the comic books, but it looks really, really incredible. But, yeah, it's along with new regions. With penises on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, white dicks you know with people means, wrapped uh, in them. Kim... <laughs> new costumes. New costumes, that's right. Well, we knew so, that was coming. Region, Dark Dimension, we're going to have brand new costumes along with each character. Uh, for new collection uh, increase and you know for you to get a lot of your stat bonuses a lot of those new themes upgraded and we'll check out spider-man's first all right i know spider-man's your your main <laughs> for sure spider-man's really fun to play as and here is his dark domain costume oh wow yeah, you, you know I think it looks like venom true mm -hmm. to spider-man you know it's mix. very um slim and uh form fit but it's also terrifying I mean, we're, we're seeing these unified colors of that shade of red, that shade of green. That's nice. I want to, I like, I want to see this and red one yeah, down here, fourth one down. That friendly looking. Not at all. This is not a friendly Spider-Man I would give a hug to because with those spikes around you, yeah, you would definitely be hurt. <laughs> no, I, I, I'd be cool with not being rescued <laughs> with those spikes nearby me. Yeah. I'm liking the way that uniform looks. Match actually a lot of the surrounding areas you saw in Dark Domain right now. So oh. yeah, there's a lot of green glows. There's also like the alternate colors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that like looks that. sick. It's yeah, very uniform. The green one's cool. Here's one that kind of matches his originals. Uh, uh, I kind of like that one. Red and, it's more pinkish, but yeah, it's more red and black. Well, you know, it's going to be the right shape. It's giving me yeah, some serious sure. carnage vibes. 
So yeah, that's uh, the dark. Oh movie. nope, there it goes. Like there it goes. Kind of Gotta get that costume. Yeah, he 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 seems really threatening. Like mm. for some reason, he's more threatening now in this book. <laughs> and it's crazy. He's, he's, like the, he's like the most one of the most friendliest characters, but those eyes are definitely like carnage esque. Mm. Yeah, it's not quite. That's a lot of work in that costume. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. It's got it's got that threatening aura to it. Definitely. Uh, so yeah, we'll check out another hero. How about that, Kim? Great. We'll check out. Let's see who you've got. Let's see who else we got here. We got Doctor Strange. He would be very appropriate. Oh yeah. Definitely more occult, definitely more dark and uh, into the dark arts. So it would be mm -hmm. more befitting for him for sure. I could see him. Definitely just visiting this land on his own. Dark domain, right? Mm-hmm. And okay, here it, it is. Oh, right? shit. Do, 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 do. So if you guys... <laughs> I'm doing a series for you guys. But <laughs> this is the costume though. that Doctor Strange shows <laughs> up in at the, the end of the hair, game uh, when like you're finesse, playing through. If you don't think itself. every Doctor Strange in the game is going to be running around as this, you're nuts. Like, everybody's going to be running around as this damn character. Running through again that we saw in Spider-Man as well. Yeah. I didn't think they were going to release that image so soon. That looks dope as hell. Veins of evil for sure oh man his cape looks almost like a bat wing like it would be like a bat wing with the spikes and mm -hmm. it almost looks alive itself well they say his cape is sentient right it, it, yeah yes it the cloak of like levitation it. is it sentient does thing. i can't imagine this it does. bat cape. it really does <laughs> this one might do bad things who knows who knows man but yeah very very <laughs> cool costumes very cool dark domain update mm. uh, i don't so, yeah, nah, that was a little drowned out this is for you to collect mm. out there there's some of the color variants the white uh, one purple. doesn't look as menacing, but it's still pretty nah, like, yeah. intimidating. No, I, I think I'm liking the headpiece a lot, and that's what I'm liking. The brown one looks like he just, just needs to go to the cleaner. Maybe in a lighter scheme. Yeah, no, still a <laughs> the headpiece and the chest piece look awesome. I would talk there to you go. Ooh, that's the color right there. That's it. That's the one. I like how even his cape looks like a dragon. Oh, and they got a complete white one in there, too. Mm, definitely changing the look of my Dr. Strange. Everything. You don't think I don't like is the boots. <laughs> Whatever mood you're in, Bless go ahead. Up. More, more that was pretty cool looking sure. out. Uh, there's one more character if you guys want to check out Storm's Dark yes. Domain. This one I'm actually I looking forward see her to. Again. Oh, so they're not going to show us all the characters? Storm's Just a little tease. In my opinion, so. The tease in the game. Show me like, more. Character. Like a lot of her costumes, I don't know if you guys have played a lot and unlocked a lot of it. They're very flowy, very uh, accessorized. It's really cool. Storm definitely has some pretty dope looking Dark costumes. Costume. Uh, you know who she looks like? She looks Again, like Aaliyah. And, and um, <laughs> goddamn, yeah, I can't remember what movie eyes. that was. That Aaliyah played the vampire like inside of it. Zed. That was like right before she right. died. Like that. I don't <laughs> Doctor Strange's eyes like that. Yeah. Some of you probably don't even know who the fuck Aaliyah is, but glow. yeah. But these like flowing like uh things in her dress beyond underneath. I don't even know what those would be called. They look like wings ripped apart or something like that it is uh, very menacing looks her, her look yeah that's really awesome they look like bat wings again yeah i mean we're seeing some of the similar tones of that red and that green 100%. in there and then we have like this strong metallic armor i like the fact that her hair is like so disheveled and still staying in place it actually looks her look even a little more menacing Superhero superheroes have that special ability too, you know. To just keep their tear. hair in place Ugh, every time. That one's ugly. That's, that's the power I want. You know, <laughs> for, for, yeah, I'm not liking that one. These these <laughs> these hair. ones look and just have it really, that one shape know, like look all like day terrible. Every day. Uh, that would be awesome, some might actually. say that's a terrible way, looking but, um you know, Aquaman uniforms. People could tell. Ooh, the purple. Ooh, cool I like too. that. Very glowy. Yeah, I haven't seen that one yet. Just the original. That one's really cool. Oh, yeah. even her eye. I didn't even notice her eye changes with each costume, too. Like, it was more yellowish on that white one. Unless it was just, like, an optical illusion. No, it's definitely yellowish-orange. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's really Looks cool. Looks good. And, the crown um, is awesome, as though. As I mentioned earlier, there's a brand new uh, level cap update with this update. So, no longer are you going to be stuck at level 100. Now, there's going to be. they're actually raising the level to 110. Yeah, so it is 110. Level, you can see that over there what else when he was playing like Spider-Man. New level cap content, baby. So um, mm -hmm. there is a new blitz, but it's not where you think it is. It's a level 105 blitz. 
that I hope we can check out. That's odd. Yeah, one hundred percent. Then they go back to Spider Man. You know what? For Why they switch to one hundred five? Rock his dark domain. So he, you can see he was just wearing battle badges yeah, as well. There was the, new battle the new badges wins. there. Well, you want to match. Nah, put the red one on at the bottom, bro. Otherwise, you know, you won't be incognito. Yep, so you I'll can see those were like those were new them, battle badges. So yeah, as you guys will be like, I know him. As you guys can see, the last uh, level 100 Blitz was Command of the Tyrant, and now we have a brand new one at level 105. It's changed oh, cool. So solo. this power you level know, still isn't said, that high up. more accessible for all of, the, all of you who are going to find it a little, little bit difficult to reach 110. 105 is like somewhere in the middle, so you could access some of this content earlier. Uh, everybody can access this content right now. You see that Command of the Tyrant is 406, and, the last, and this one's for, now pretty uh, much 500,000. Most players and should be able to reach that by the time they end the game. XP, so it's really good rewards, really good, worth the time, really worth the effort to level up your character. So and I noticed the reward count on a Blitz has changed too. So it's five of five instead of three of three. So that was that new. That's good. And of course, I'm in a the general. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I was going to say, gonna of course, I'm in a test like... environment. So I'm going to be loading in by myself and probably get wrecked. <laughs> probably, oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's probably going to happen. Don't be shocked, people. Um, but this is the general thing is this is uh, the Dark Dimension Core, which is, of course, led by Dormammu, have exposed their plans to invade primary Earth. So you need to defeat uh, Dormammu's army. There you go. That's how the mindless one's supposed to look. To like with just the one red eye. Claimed, just like so many countless other What are these corrupt mages? Okay. Dormammu has dominated. And it will take a lot. It's going to take some special movements in here. Um, Denizens of the Darkness. That was the battle badge right there. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm really concentrated on not getting wrecked. For I know. Sure. Maybe I'll just talk. Malicious <laughs> dark uh, demon. Yeah, right. To Give tell you all background. more a little about it. Um, Dormammu actually has up to three transformations per battle uh, with new combat styles that you will not recognize from previous Blitz battles. So you may have been able to pick up maybe a certain rhythm or a certain pattern to previous Blitz battles. This one is different. It will be changing. So um, hopefully he makes it there because I'm interested be to see what to it's going to look like. Constantly avoid his attacks, come up with different strategies. Uh, move around to different spaces a lot. You always want to be moving, I think. And uh, the battle patterns are based on Dormammu in his role as the leader of the Dark Dimension. And it's it's going to be an ever-changing battle. I mean, your first entree into this might not be great, but hopefully you learn more and more as you go along. And, uh, you know, you just you need to dodge and dodge and dodge <laughs> Duck, is what I'm picking up from... Uh, <laughs> All the times I've looked at this. <laughs> no joke, like how Kim was mentioning, as you guys see, if I make it that far, it looks like I'm going to trigger him right now. Let's okay, take a look cool. At this real quick. Oh, so that's a huge ass there. mindless one. one. Okay, that's a different mindless, mindless one. one. So we will get to Dormammu. So we're not at Dormammu. A challenge. When and if. <laughs> so I did a video for you guys uh, to see if? something I that I suspect uh, that you could. Oh, wow. So we just got one, two, three. It. Three giant before, right? mindless ones. Yeah, we did. We okay. Did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's different when people are watching. It is. It truly is. I think that's going to be the rough um, thing is collecting these the battle badges ones. from here. But they said that that's the reason why they had the rewards and they're the, the increase the blitz the, rewards uh, to five out of five. Like yeah, they're pretty intense. Yeah. Seeing a these lot mindless of, ones look pretty dope, especially those giant ones. So it says five out of six, so it's probably one more wave coming. No, bro, you're okay. at five out of six progress, dude. Let's get to him. <laughs> Let's get to him. <laughs> Do these people even go. play their own game? Let us people. get to the ruler of the Dark Domain. Dark Dimension, actually. Uh, but this is his domain, just to be clear. And there he is. Look at how menacing this guy. You got nice. He looks cool. interdimensional power. He looks comes, cool. Uh, that scary look. What does he summon mages to help him out? Oh jeez, yeah. He also has right. his throne room side. looks pretty damn dope. Corrupt mages, of course, some mobs to fight. He's just chilling in the background, launching spikes at me. Mm -hmm. So yeah, know. this is whatever you strategy you used in a previous blitz battle. Change it, change it. I spam. It was a bad thing if he actually completes this blitz yep, by himself. It's not gonna really stand well for. As you could see, his attack pattern. What they're saying random. about the like, increase. For every boss battle you fought before, you think it's easy, but 
as you see, if I trigger some of his further stages, he's a really, really tough opponent. Let me focus we'll on trigger that. them. Oh, yeah, look, damn, look how much damage he just back. did. Ah, uh, yeah, he's spamming me with spikes. So I showed you those spikes with Dormammu from Marvel Future Fight. So look at that. He got him down to four health already. All kinds of horrible things. Sorry if the camera's all wacky. I'm like trying to survive here. I'm doing my best. Oh, God. Mm, I'm not really seeing what they're talking about with different attacks. These is pretty much the same attacks. I want to see if he's going to transform at all. Oh, I feel like this is we're getting oversold on this. Okay, there goes a new attack. Oh yeah, let me turn that off. Good call, Dredger. Bro, you you should have left auto play on. You seem like you needed it. Oh my god, he's like launching rocks at me. Um, there you go. So we've got two new attacks. <laughs> Yeah, why not? He's Dormammu. Sure. He's Dormammu is the answer. Why? Please tell me this is not it. He does what he wants. He wants your dimension. Why is he like, where are these lasers coming from? Okay, so now he's basically got five powers. health back, so he's in a new stage. Come on, man, you know. Is he going to change? So now we got 14 flames. This looks like Loki's attack. Why is it just around him, though? I him right now, as you can see. Yeah. Oh, oh. I mean, so if you remember, I showed you that attack inside Marvel Future okay. Fight that he has that attack. I didn't expect him to put it in there, though. So now he's got another new set of attacks over here. Dude, you're just getting smashed with that. Because before you were like, come on, let me borrow your account. Maybe. Okay, so he's still using the same attacks from the first one, but he's got at least three more new attacks inside here. With a whole okay. new bar of five. It's fine. It's Let's see how the health damage is happening. <laughs> Looks like he's still doing pretty good damage to him in his second phase. My man Dude, needs to get to this dodging. Stage, this is second stage. Remember, there's up to three. Those lasers, there's like no way to... Well, at least he's like dodging him. This fighty has a hard dip dodge right. He's dodging, but you ain't, bro. <laughs> like superheroes do. So the good thing is we did get to see that that's basically a twenty five thousand gold cost in order to revive instead of a hundred crystals. So that's that's an improvement already. At the moment. What the hell was that? Oh, he threw rock at him. He's showing you what a live stream is all about, everyone. Okay, the bad part about this is seemingly is that Dormammu is staying in place. He's stagnant a lot, so... At least I stunned him. Maybe I could pull off my ult. So here in his second phase right now, let's right, see. Is he going to... going to his next stage? Yeah, he's going to his third right. stage now. All right, get ready. I don't even know where he's coming from. Oh, what's that? <laughs> this is literally the first time I've... Oh, no, oh. it's like his face. It's just his face. The Cause... face... That Doctor Strange challenged. Dormammu! I've come very, to very make a deal. <laughs> or as my video said, Dormammu! Yeah. I've come to blitz. Sorry, I just lagged a bit there. He, he thinks it's funny. So we can see some new attacks there as well coming. Well, you know. If, it, if he does get you, at least, uh, you know, I'll escape this world. But it's looking like they're playing with a fully maxed to, out. Is, oh, wow. Doing that for themselves. Yeah, if you think you're a flying hero, you're going to be safe. As you saw, just, oh, what do I even do here? What are you supposed to do with mm -hmm. this shit? Are you dead? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you okay, only no get worries, one no revive. Okay, we tried. We let's, tried. Let's, let's leave it open. Let, let players uh, was he supposed to, to dodge through that as you guys saw a lot of like my friends that play uh there's definitely they're definitely safer when they're like flying characters like uh like uh dr strange or iron man but yeah as you saw some of those attacks were very focused in the air so you're gonna have a difficult time playing this guy so yeah we'll let the agents once they unlock this content i'm sure they'll do way better than me I promise it's not. That impossible. was pretty cool, but I don't. I don't see the difficulty being so hard. And I wish they would have like changed maybe his form, so, yeah, um, uh, more than just the one time in third phase. That's for you guys phase. to figure out. That's for you guys to unlock in the content. You have guys. your work cut out for you. <laughs> so yeah, along a lot. 
<laughs> my director is laughing at me. <laughs> I tried, See? bro. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> along with this new, we already spoke about Dark Domain, uh, new region, a lot of new collectibles, a lot more for you to explore, a lot a lot of epic missions for you to gain a lot of XP on, and a lot of side missions just to uh, level up. Uh, I mean, get a lot of that. We'll go back to it, too, if you guys want to check it out. A lot of activity you can knock, knock out in Dark Domain. And we talked about the level 105 Blitz mode. So it's like a new Blitz mode. It's really difficult. Uh, really fun. I would like to see them, them if he was showing that, most wanted. Smaller quality of life changes, uh, Kim, if we want to start talking about a lot of uh, the new smaller updates with this. For one example, um, now there's going to be EXP farming is now going to be available in the dark zone. Good. So now players can accumulate experience here to become even stronger. Before, like, it was kind of a grind you know you'd have to do only epic missions and side missions for you to get exp so now in the dark zone with this new update coming up in a couple of days i believe uh you're going to be able to farm exp in the dark zone which makes it way way more tremendous uh, easier for you to be more efficient uh leveling up your character if you're struggling at those lower levels you could just farm a lot of exp in the dark zone now so that's really cool and hey if you're like me and you hate being griefed Channel 3 is now a PvP safe zone, which means uh, <laughs> players can focus on farming without the stress of being attacked uh, by another player. Say it so, loud. Um, yeah. There yeah. you go. Channel exactly. So way more beneficial game. now to be able to enjoy that dark zone wrong. content. That's how we were talking about, like, just farming a pitch on PvP 3 will now be dedicated to PvP zone. So that's really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, also... Oh, actually, I could just check out one of the raids, and it's saying it has a new... As you could see, this button in the bottom left right here was specialization info, and now you could just go right into it at a at a press of a button mm -hmm. and access a lot of your specialization menu. So these are like those uh, up, uh, upgrades you do for all your characters, and I believe you share it across all, all of your hero, all of your squad. So now you could just, before you get into the, into the raids, you could go into specialization way easier. It's just a small, simple quality of life change in the UI, and it's way easier mm -hmm. for you to navigate and prepare, prepare your character before battle. So that's a really cool change. Helpful, but not needed. Another what we need is, is for the specialization so to not be uh, three rounds per stage and nine stages. It's twenty-seven rounds per day that you have to do. But um, and now it has been reduced to a total of five rounds per day, and the reward balance will be applied accordingly. So you'll get the same amount of rewards without as many rounds needed to get them or claim them or one, achieve that. Yeah, one hundred percent. And as how, as Kim mentioned, that's one of like the major pain points that a lot of people said. Like, you know, we're tired of autoing through uh nine rounds of, of blitz and you know having to do them three times a day. That's really, really tedious and a lot of time consumption. So now we're we're gonna lower that participation rate to only five out of five and you could only uh, you'll get the rewards out of instead of three like how can mention uh what was it 27 that's rounds? not good now you could just do it five times 27 total yeah that's, that's not insane. good guys yeah, and, it, and it takes forever. Yeah. they're pushing that so off like really it's cool a good thing that that's not good just complete it five times a day that's five times a day instead of that is five, not good that's your reward count and the rewards are going to be uh no guys accordingly so that ain't yeah, the move way, simpler, way more efficient that's not good mm -hmm because if you look oh, at it thing. Um, you're before, basically we going to be losing about, out on rewards uh, there that you could basically get status. because now what reason do i have now to go play go the lower right levels here, right, right through the mini map and you could see uh, all the floating um icons with the side missions it says zero out of 48 for new yeah star city, zero that's not good collection for uh new star city i'd well. have to do the math on it but i, I don't think that's a good idea right so dark domain it'll show you a constant update now in the mini map so you don't have to uh, scroll into the our activity log every single time. You could just see at a glance inside this world map menu, and it's small little changes mm -hmm. like that. Like you know, you could see, oh, I only did one out of thirty-four side missions, and I only got one out of the twenty-four collections. So, when you're looking to level up later on or get a lot more like gold or squad EXP, it's way easier to see everything at a glance now. It makes life way simpler. So, simplicity and efficiency is the name of the game for this update, Kim. For sure. I mean, it's it's better to just know things easily right away. Uh, on that note, skills presets can be made and changed on the main screen without having to move over to the skills tab every time you want to do that. So what you could do is have different presets and click the button to show changes in skill presets. Yeah, that's way easier. It's another one of those convenience factors where instead of going all the way back and like, you know, a lot of the missions that you do play, they're always saying, oh, wait, let me not start a side mission. My bad. 
a lot of the missions you are playing and you want to change, for example, your some of your side missions, I mean, some of your, some of your skills, uh, you don't longer have to go all the way back into the main menu. You could just do it from the main screen. So that's like way easier as well. Mm hmm. Uh, along with that, there's a lot of smaller uh, quality of life improvements. Kim, if you want to briefly go over some of those. Yeah, I'll, I'll say them and then maybe you can extrapolate a little bit. Um, but okay. I think a lot of them are self-explanatory. Uh, one, reward policy adjustment and revival improvement. Uh, there have been improvements on lack of gold, dark zone changes and improvements. Um, Omega War matchmaking improvements are coming. Skill preset changes change improvements and optimization improvements, which this one was important to me. Specifically, I'm saying device heating. <laughs> yeah, Kim's phone was getting really hot when she was playing on her personal account. So yeah, a lot of this optimization, <laughs> it's been a lot of feedback from players. So I you. missed out Thank on you. exactly Develop what was going on, but from what I can tell, <laughs> that at the uh, new dimension it's, level it's right it was a thousand uh squad rank sure xp well, that you could get from years. doing yeah. that squad rank so if you uh, did yeah, that five times just yeah, that um, one five times a day that, being said, developers are definitely listening that so works out to five thousand squad rank xp currently if you played through all of the blitz modes inside the game you would get six thousand seven hundred and fifty squad rank xp so that's not to include all the other gold rewards um, the, uh, the Blitz badge boxes and the Convergium boxes. So this is a nerf. Fantastic. All right. Well, I think that about does it for us here today. I want to thank you all for the live stream. And there will be more live streams to come. Um, as Angel mentioned, there are uh, several SNS pages that you can follow. And on that note... I haven't forgotten there's a coupon code to be given out right now. Um, you can claim it on iOS by using a link that will be pinned in the chat. And on Android, you can enter the coupon code in the coupon menu of the in-game setting menu. You can go to settings and then coupon. And that code is... Dark Domain is here. Dark Domain is here. A scary thought, because that means we're in the dark domain. And I'm not leveled up personally enough for that. But um, Dark Domain is here. One word, no spaces. Enter that coupon code in the ways I mentioned. You can follow the link if you're on iOS. And you can go in through the menu if you're on Android. Please do that as soon as so you can. So it's an Omega Supply and Box. make sure you get your reward. Yeah, and I believe our moderators are able to drop in the code. It's also on your screen as well. Uh, and they could drop the link for iOS players, which they're also kind of always kind of confused of how to redeem it. The link that they drop in the chat right now, it will take you really straight to it, to the website, and it'll show you, it'll explain it to you step by step of how to redeem it on iOS. That's right. So um, please check that out as soon as you are able. And... I think that'll do it for us from Omega Flight. We'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in, agents. Bye. All right, guys. Uh, got something coming up for you about this. We need to have a conversation. <laughs>